So we know about the technicity of Richard Mille watches and if Richard Mille was going to go into sailing it wouldn't be for any type of project. So today you're presenting here with a really brand new boat, something quite crazy. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, it's a GC32 um, catamaran and uh, the real special thing about these boats is that um, it has the same hydrofoils that, that the America's Cup kind of pioneered last year. Um, so we, we can reach speeds far greater than any other boat out on the water, yet we're probably a third of the size of some of the biggest ones. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to a good race tomorrow. So we are indeed just a few hours away from uh, one of the most famous uh, sailing races in the world, uh, around the island of White. Uh, what are your um, prognostics uh, for tomorrow? Well, unfortunately, the forecast isn't quite playing ball with us. Um, if we had, you know, 10 knots or so, I, I'd really back us to be probably the fastest boat to go round tomorrow. With the forecast as it is, we might we might struggle a little bit. But if we're lucky and the breeze is, um, you know, the breeze is a bit stronger than they're forecasting, then um, then we'll be in pretty good shape to go round faster than any of the other 1,600 boats that are doing this race. <laughs> Well, on the weather side, miracles didn't really happen and the day started early and very, very gently. But at least it was a beautiful day. 1600 boats didn't start all on the same starting line, but with a 10 minute interval between the different categories for this 50 mile long around the island race. First start for the large and high performance monohulls, followed 10 minutes later by category 2 boats in which Richard Mille's GC32 boat was part of. The initial sporting objective was simply to beat last year's crazy record of Sir Ben Ainsley, a record set with a time of 2 hours and 52 minutes. Well, that initial program was no longer on the menu, but victory was still the goal. Monohulls sailed rather well in these light conditions and it took a while before the GC32 catamaran managed to overtake these leading boats. The final overtaking maneuver really took some time and the crew did the best to face these conditions. Maybe a bit frustrating, but that's the way it is with Mother Nature. Just sit still and be patient. Nevertheless, the wind was finally there and the flying catamaran could express itself the way it was supposed to, meaning fast, real fast. We all thought that the finish line would only be a few moments away with these speeds. But again, we went back to conditions we know so well on the Geneva Lake. A bit of wind, no wind, then again a bit, then nothing. And on top of it, here you have to add up playing with the tide currents, so not easy for the nerves. But finally, and after 8 hours and 52 minutes of a long racing day, victory belonged to Richard Mille's team of the day, one of the longest editions of this fantastic around the island race. <laughs>